So we finally had an upgrade on these lovely icons. We have some Centurions. Ribery is the most expensive at the moment at 4.7, 91 rated. He's just gone up by a cheeky plus three. He is still a five star, five star as always. And he has got the technical plus, which he had in the beginning anyway. We're looking at a two pace increase, three on the shooting, passing, two on the dribbling, five on the defending and five on the physical as well. He will have the lovely technical plus. He has incisive, dead ball, flare, traveller and quick step as his normal play styles. And he can play winger plus, wide play playmaker plus plus, inside forward plus and also a wide, maker, a wide playmaker plus in his left wing role. So left mid is going to suit him that little bit better. We are going to jump in and see what is all about it's a lovely upgrade for him it's a very nice statted card but is he worth the four mil price tag so it's going to be a lot of trying down the wing with him obviously with his right foot he's normally going to be pretty decent at the dribbling and just getting down the byline so that's kind of what we're expecting a little bit of five star five star magic if you can kind of get away with it as well which is going to be nice and just overall a very nice and agile player He's normally pretty good at getting kind of through. Hopefully the physicality might not be too much of an issue for him. And I think 4 mil just off a general price at the moment, I would say might be a little bit too expensive in my books personally. But I could see him dropping down massively as we do get through this week. Nice little dribble. Can we keep it as well? Going to try and cut again. Looks for the finesse. It's not quite over him. And again, ping it into his feet. Opens himself up with a left. I think the other thing as well, maybe the finesse shot's probably not the greatest. The fact that he doesn't have that play style plus the technical could be better. One more try. <laughs> Got to give it a go. The technical plus it could have been a better play style in my opinion. They could have potentially changed it to make him that little bit more viable of an option. I'm just not a big fan of the technical plus in general. So that's going to be the big thing that, that you could add a little bit better for him if for instance something like this it just doesn't scream what i actually want to do with him look for the fake try to get it through but four mil he's going to drop down in price massively there's no way that he stays 4.6 especially uh well i imagine with all of the packs that we're going to have out uh especially sbcs and everything that's going to be uh kind of apparent in the next couple of days lovely he's going to go for the attack Look for that little bring it back. A little bit of pace. A little bit of pace. Could sit round. And the finish is just not there for him whatsoever. Can we get the touch? Oh, it's not a good enough touch. But we're going to win it back off her. Nice. Little on the inside. Little fake back round. Near post. Great save from Howard. It's either great save or a terrible finish from Ribery. It's either one or the other. There he is again. He gets a good first touch this time. Bailey's going to push it up. Can we get a bit of ribbery on the ball? In across. Looks for a little bit of flair. Good save from Howard. I wasn't expecting that one to go anywhere in. But I mean, it, he had an option at the very minimum. Good challenge. He's been a, a decent enough, to be honest. And I, I think it's... It, it, oh, that's great. Get the ball into Bailey. It's a great assist. Oh, the keep... I mean, if I, I, the annoying thing is if I frame by frame that, I guarantee he was out of the box by the time his hand actually touched the ball, but something we're not going to have. Salah's going to go for it. Oh, thank God. One, one attempt he'd have had. But in terms of kind of what we're expecting from uh, Ribery, I, I would say he's living up to that expectation. But then also, I'm, I kind of expect it when, when you're looking at a player that's worth a fair few million. You expect the basics, to be honest. Like I expect him to be able to beat a lot of the bog standard cards, be able to dribble around a few players, and, and that's just natural for, for that price of a card. He's got lovely agility balance, so if somebody doesn't know how to defend and is just constantly jumping in, he's going to have that ability to technically go around them, which is very nice to have. Lovely on the inside. He's going to cut it back out. Wait for the little switch again. Brings it in. Oh, just trying to get past that last center back. Good touch. Can we feed in a bit of Bailey? He's going to get the seconds anyway. Ribery's making his run in. 
Little over the top. Can we head it across to Ribery? And it is a phenomenal finish, but he is offside. There is no way. Into his feet. One touch out. Oh, again, we're looking for it. We're trying to force it into him, obviously, to get as much as we can out of him. And every single time he's on the ball, it, it feels like he's got a chance to go forward, which is nice. There it is. Little on the inside. Flicks. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to change. Change to the wrong person. I thought it was going to go back to uh, that right back. So I was kind of cutting it back in. And he unfortunately went with the opposite of what I thought he'd do. As we try and find him through here. Ah, oh, it's a last ditch again. He's going to pass it on the inside. Of course he is. He's managed to get that second shot off with Salah. Finesse shot plus, And it does show you as a finisher what the difference a play style can truly make. Like a power shot, Traveller, a finesse shot, anything that you can kind of exploit as a good shooting uh, play style is absolutely massive in the game. Oh, there it is. Uh, Arejo with a catch-up. He loves it. A little fake round him if we can. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Managing to finally get in. He gets a little bit lazy with that challenge, in my opinion. And we manage to bag it. And he manages to get one straight back with Salas Finesse, of course. Injured Salah as well. Into his feet. Arejo coming out. Doesn't matter because we've got the pace. Little fake. Little scoop. Pass it back out. Oh, pass it back out. Why don't you? Into Ribery's feet. Gives him a turn. Gives him a shuffle. Finds the back of the net. And Ribery again doing very, very well to give us this game by the scruff of the net once more. So we find him in. Can we go back to back here in the inside of Arejo? And he, he knew it straight away. Absolutely called it. And it doesn't matter because the, the fourth shot. And he's bagged three out of them. Unbelievable. So going into the overall form then. In terms of price, we're looking at 4.2 mil already. Um, naturally, he's going to go down massively. He is the most expensive at the moment. You've got Beckham at 1.8. You've got uh, Foudy, or Foudy, I don't know how you pronounce the name, in 1.2. Uh, Zambrotta at 900, give or take. Obviously, Van der Sar is going to come in at very expensive as well. All waiting for SBCs as well at the same time. We're going to see quite a few of them over the course of the next couple of weeks, which is going to be fantastic. But in terms of him being the number one yes and no i think he's he's decent he's, he's most definitely a decent card but i wouldn't necessarily say go out and buy him for this sort of price to be honest i think 4.3 is is being very generous to him to be honest and especially when you've got 1.5 on his actual card on his 88 uh, it's fair enough to say that He's going to drop down a heavy amount once we start getting packs. But the big question is that we don't know anything about yet is how packable truly are these cards? Because they, they could be so extinct, it's unbelievable. So we will wait and see how it does go with them. Um, definitely in terms of a card, though, you'd expect him to be at least somewhat decent. I'm not a fan of a technical plus personally, but some people might be. Um, chemistry star wise, people are looking at either the artist or the hunter. Obviously, it's to just get the more rounded stats, really. I think for me, I would use him as more of a hunter because obviously I'm going to try him as more of an attacker, if anything, pushing the ball forward. He seems to be able to get the job done at the very minimum in that sort of role. So let me know down below what you think about him. If you've used any, if you've packed any, leave it in the comments section below and I will catch you all for the next one. And we'll have a little watch and see how expensive these are in the morning.